Okay, if we ha aren't resuming recording, then this is brand new. <laughs> so, <laughs> but welcome to Wing Chun Talk. I'm Sifu Z. I'm Johan. And we are doing a segment called OPWC. Other people's Wing Chun. Yep, other people's Wing Chun. And uh, let's see if we can get it happening right here, right now a chrome tab yes and so this is what i want i want that and let's get with that chrome tab yes oh i think i chose the wrong one that's mm. that's what happened okay okay so what do we have here and we will control the uh the audio this time around and geez i don't want to pick like these super long ones you know, yeah. Wing Chun versus Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Master Wong. Uh oh. Is it Master Wong Day? Mas I think it's Master Wong Day. You know, I was thinking we might have to like do a whole, whole episode segment OPWC on yeah. Master Wong because he more than is <laughs> so prolific. Well, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do more than one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But he's prolific enough for a whole episode. That's for dang sure. Um, and I haven't seen Master Wong. Back when I first heard about Master Wong, he uh, he and I were about the same in the search results. I think he was sort of beating me, but I was like, right, I was on his tail. Is this 10 plus year ago? Or yeah, or 2008, around? 2009, okay. maybe. Yeah. So um, I knew that he was going to uh, take off, you know, that he, he had, because I knew the kind of work that I was doing to get there. And so I knew exactly how much more work he was doing in order to get up in the search results. Oh, okay. So, um, so Master Wong, good on you. Uh, congratulations. You are the online internet Wing Chun master. Right. Yeah. yeah. Isn't yeah. it? The first time I heard about him was probably, say, 2012, 13, something like that. Uh huh. Yeah. A friend showing, showing his stuff to me. So, um, yeah, uh, and Wing Chun versus BJJ with uh, him demonstrating it. Um, now, let me give you a little backstory just before we start this video. Um, I've only been training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu like nine months less than Wing Chun. And I learned Jiu Jitsu from uh, the Gracie line out in Hawaii. Yeah. Um, so although I, I certainly am not a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu expert, I certainly do appreciate and I'd even say have a certain amount of love yes. for the, um, for the art and, uh, but I'm a Wing Chun man and, uh, I've maintained, uh, my focus on Wing Chun throughout the time, um, and I've, of course, made my connections and have seen what's similar and what's not similar. Um, so this is going to be interesting. Very. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. And uh, I'll try to get the audio right here. The new Speed Force. Oh, boy. Oh, these zero shoes. We're thinking about function. using these. Uh, and the new so hey we might as well play this that's exactly the one the Priva I think beauty. it's called they look like they could just take off and fly away on their own look at that aren't they perfect <laughs> Wing Chun shoes yeah I can't wait to try so, yeah. Yeah. All, right. all right zero shoes you're welcome <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so is that a red belt, a brown belt? I think that's a brown belt. So, hi guys. Yeah. Well, you see who won? Uh oh. 
The one who imposes his will will win. And in the street, Tempo. there's no rules. It's such so, a ghost trainer, isn't it? We as martial artists, yeah. we have to realize that oh, man, this is way too loud. Chun will win every time. Oops. Jiu-Jitsu will win every time when it's Jiu-Jitsu rules. But when it's in the street, it's a strict rule. There's no rules. The only rule is to go home safely to your family. Because that's the only rule. So I hope this is not too loud. Here, I'll check in my headphones. There's no best system. There's only the best One, two. There we go. Jiu-Jitsu guys, you have to embrace that there is going to be striking. There is going to be, you know, gouging. There is going to be street techniques. If you're a Wing Chun guy, you have to realize you have to learn to take down the, You have to learn to take down the fence or you will get slammed on your head. So you have to learn a little of everything, no matter what your martial art. None is better. They're all great, but they have to come together. Just like Bruce Lee said. So perfect. Now, I'll give you an example with this particular how fangers are treated, okay? If I come in with your face, and he, you see, he, yeah, yeah, he will be doing it. Oh, he's defending, yeah? And when I, 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 I look, one, he's going to win again. Oh, wait, here, I don't know what's happening. Now, now, boom, oh! Remember, this is concrete. Okay, back then. My hip is fall down the front way here, yeah? Boom! Ah, oh, my head! Don't go into your thing. And then soon you get in there. Boom! And I'm broken. Okay? Now, you can't punch. Don't go. You can't. You look not going to punch nothing from here. You're done. Okay? Now, give it to you. Pop no, you're not. Know, you know, if 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 you now, for me, when it comes in with, with the Wing Chun people, you do this. But no, me, coming in, I will control this. I will control this first thing. Okay? Now, that will be on the eyeball. Rip it out like this first. And... Okay, let's stop right there. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, what amazes me about this guy is how he gets people to agree to do videos with him not again not because he's like super horrible but he's i i would say wong as far as being wing chun is not on the same level of wing chun as those guys are in their martial art right okay i i i i might be getting to the punch a little early here um but i i think it's just important and i'm going to back up my statement here now again if you like self-defense street techniques and you like to study all the different applications you know yeah like collect them like like cards, like collect, <laughs> collector cards, right? Uh, Master Wong's probably great, right? As far as tricks, techniques, well, like you're not tricks, here. but just, just, uh, yeah. yeah, application techniques yeah. that you know serve our our Wing Chun and then beyond. Because a lot of times I think he's being a little bit liberal as saying that a thing is a Wing Chun technique. Um, but let's stick with where we're at here. Um, I mean, he must be, I don't know, maybe he's paying them or something, but he, he uh, yeah, I don't well, know. He's got a big name out there. I, know, he's so, got, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think people, people like him. I know they're entertained by him. Yeah. yeah His I personality. Mean, and I'm not saying that Master Wong, again, is horrible as much as I just know coming from Wing Chun, we know what the levels are. And so when when we look at Master Wong, we know at what level he's at. And I just don't see him at the same level of um, of like a jiu-jitsu, a, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu. If that guy, I think he was a brown belt. If that guy was a, a brown belt, oh, my God. Mm. I mean, if, that, if he was a blue or a purple belt, even, um, you know, Wong couldn't hold a candle right. to him. And, you know, uh, this is actually something I say 
in general, which is when it comes to Wing Chun, we get our uh, our proverbial blue belt really quick, mm. as opposed to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu blue belts. It takes them a long time, Absolutely. and then they get their purple a long yeah. time. We get our blue belt, rather, what I'm saying is we are pretty street ready, self-defense ready, pretty quickly, which, which is what we're calling blue belt. Mm -hmm. That's what the Gracies uh, call blue belt is, right? They've got their uh, Gracie combatives, right, where they, they have their, their self-defense intact, yeah. right? So, and it takes a while. It takes a while. Uh, and again, in Wing Chun, it doesn't take a while. What takes a while in Wing Chun is then getting really good at it, right? So Wong, I would say, is probably at his blue belt level in Wing Chun, right? But um, that, doesn't, that doesn't translate. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm listening, learning here. Yeah, yeah. So um, now, the first thing is the I don't know why the jujitsu guy is to serve. Um, you know, he's doing what we're talking about last time, which is he's freezing. Yeah. Which oh, yeah, which yeah. allows him to get the that this move also. He's supposed to have the bridge of the nose, the bridge of the nose, the jawbone, or the ear. Right. So there's nothing there. It can he can peel off of that? Very, oh, he can very just easily turn his head. And yeah, straight through. And exactly. And he can bury his head into his yeah. chest and whatnot to yeah. prevent that sort of thing. And during the whole um, heat of the moment and speed, oh, uh, sure. at moment, you don't have the you know you don't necessarily have that available to you, um, or it's not that available to you now. Here's another element of this. If you even oh, certainly out on the street, if you start with the eye gouging, you're doing what's called uh, raising the intensity, the level, the the uh, intent. I, I forget the. Uh, I'm forgetting the phrase. Mm. Um, but yeah, you're raising the violence level right it's not what i'm trying to say but we'll try to fix that in the yeah. description yeah. damn it <laughs> yeah yeah you're raising the violence level when you start doing things like this so um and 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 just Escalating. yeah and grabbing hugging a person that's hugging you and about to take you down is not what you do not as a Wing Chun person. As a Wing Chun person, you, you, um, you know, you have Kam Sao. You're sort of pressing down. You're pivoting out. You're, you're, you're Bon Saoing. You're, you're trying to break the bridge. You're Chum Queuing. You're yeah. breaking the bridge. Yes, you don't just join in on a bridge that your opponent creates. No, you I just do. don't do that. Fall on your head. Yeah, you were, and even if I were just Jujitsu, I would. I, I would be trying to underhook you. I'd be pummeling you. I'd be, mm -hmm. you know, we, we, you know, I'd be stuffing your cake out here. Mm -hmm. I'd be, you know, uh, I, I, especially if it's single leg takedown. I, I know exactly what I'd be doing. My favorite move is uh, Uma Plata shoulder lock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now when somebody when somebody does a single leg, it's a perfect opportunity. To do a an Uma Plata shoulder shoulder lock, you'd look that up. Um, so this technique is nonsensical for him to do. I mean, now w w might it work? It might, but again, you're raising your escalation of violence. That's the term. Yeah. yeah, the escalation of violence. One of the things that we love about Wing Chun is it doesn't escalate the violence. Right. At least our Wing Chun, the way we approach Wing Chun, uh, the way we see Wing Chun as it is explained to us as a, a small Chinese woman. Right. Able to maintain your structure. 
yeah. right and distance yeah but you, yeah using that structure yeah. uh to um you know to maintain that distance and, right. and, and to to do the things to position yourself how you need to be positioned um and so that's the first things first i mean right away he sort of accepted that position and then is assuming he, if there's no eye gouge then what else you got that's right. it yeah in fact here's another thing if there's somebody gouging your eyes what's the first thing you're going to do you're going to close them okay that's that's yeah. good i like that but there's another thing that you're going to do just let's well, just assume you, you're too late his fingers are in your open eyes well you're probably going to use your fingers to either pry them out or attack his there eyes. you go you're immediately you, you're going to do what you do when anything ever gets into your eye you're immediately going to try to get it out of your eye mm. it's one of the things we do so automatically without thinking is get that out of my eye right so uh, there's a good chance you're going to get your fingers broken mm. which isn't a good thing right right so um man yeah the, the escalation of violence not a good thing um just not not working immediately to create the bridge the chum cue is um is huge right um so let's see what else they got going here <laughs> yeah and hopefully that was in the job like pitch master says i want to go home i really don't want to be trapped up time up time oh see okay look at that what's that what's perfect for there well i, I can't remember what it's called but the rest of that my nine so my on. nine transition oh, they're, they're, uh, uh, yeah ones, and yeah. and so uh those of you that don't train with me and the nine transition is is a kimura from that position mm. there is a perfect kimura setup right there perfect kimura but let's see what he does with that yeah and he hasn't squeezed them so you can see you don't have quick if i if i don't have quick enough here okay i'm attacking so you're not going to Kimura, by the way, you're not going to Kimura this top arm. What you're going to do is you're immediately going to switch your hips mm. and attack the, the bottom hand. Because the, if you attack this, the bottom hand is holding that hand in place. You see? So, um, yeah, you're going to uh, turn, you're going to pivot your hips and attack. And, and as you're pivoting your hips, you're going to create a little bit of space where, that you're going to take advantage of in order to get, get that. Again, it's all part of the Wing Chun movements, right? Go on an up and going home. Yeah, so, you, so basically, you have to adapt. You have to adapt. Like, for instance, the first move that he did, like the, the jiu, -jitsu jiu jitsu guy, guy wants, wants the back. And all and of a sudden, the Wing Chun guy says, Oh, I don't know what to do. But it's, but it's such, such a simple move. move just, just to stay safe, safe for that little bit longer, longer is you get, you separate your hips from there, there and you, you start, start walking out, out and separating their hands. <laughs> no, he's giving much better advice. <laughs> so uh, this, is, this is interesting because Wong is actually getting advice from other people but slapping his name and brand on it mm. <laughs> but this is very good information because that's exactly how you set up the nine transition the the kimura right you, you would do that and then set up the kimura because you, you've got space yeah, right space. Yeah. and then you can get away with just learning a simple technique to, to defend and for the jiu-jitsu guy when he was coming in and master one was able to get his face and then start pounding his head and dig his eyes out. A simple trick for a jiu-jitsu guy, instead of just coming in for the takedown, they could come in with strikes, and then all of a sudden they hurt him. Now they come in and they can impose their will by getting their knockout. 
So all you gotta do, guys. And and he he uh, he just demonstrated a wonderful hip takedown that he he didn't perform it, um, but uh, yeah, locked in the pig guy. I forget his name, but uh, yeah. Is, is some jujitsu guys, guys learn some, some striking, striking, right, and defending striking. striking and stand-up stand striking, striking martial arts, arts. learn a little, a little bit about takedown, takedown take defense, defense, and grappling. Okay, so in Wing Chun, this is, and most, this is good information in many ways for a lot of Wing Chuners out there, and and that is that they, they need to be familiar with grappling mm -hmm. and whatnot. Now, this is where we part company, though, because I've been doing jujitsu and I've been doing, you know, shoots, I've been wrestling even prior to Wing Chun. So what, my understanding of Wing Chun, I, I see all the grappling. There is all, all and not only that, I've, I've, I have the honor of knowing some really high-end jujitsu guys. And they're essentially at their highest levels doing Wing Chun. They're just doing Wing Chun on the ground, which we call Chin Na. There's the Boxer Rebellion. There's the grappling that was washed out of Gung Fu during the Boxer Rebellion. So um, you know, I contend that there that Wing Chun would have to know and be able to apply grappling techniques simply because it's a small chinese woman right that's a martial yeah. art that allows small chinese women to to defeat a larger stronger opponent yeah, and, and what, what is they know they might end up on the ground oh more of than course likely. more than likely woman, right that's, it's more they're not yeah. they're not going to get into a fist fight they're no. going the guy's going to grab them and take them down yes right so this is again how i can really feel strong in my perspective mm -hmm. and in my assessment with other people's martial art here because it's just simply not following the premise of our martial art now i'm not saying it's ineffective because i'm sure there's some effectiveness but it's just not what wing chun is doing right right he sort of um he's taking his wing chun and making it weak by trying to parallel it or akin it with grappling and, and these other martial arts because he, he does this with uh, various martial arts. Right, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Um, again, I, I think it's kind of goofy that a brown belt in what's probably, you know, jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, mm -hmm. um, is sort of putting themselves on, on equal footing with Wong because these guys have done the major work. Right. The, that brown belt did not come easy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Wong is, is probably uh, maybe a blue belt level equivalent. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, I mean, if it, I'll tell you this much, I don't know if Wong could even beat a blue belt if he were just to play jujitsu. I don't think he could. Okay. Just because you, you know, you got to do the work, man. Right. You can't theorize and you can't try to, um, you know, do what he's been doing to Wing Chun, which is sort of masculinize it to MMA eyes it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. To, um, you know, to, to, uh, yeah. And modernize it, which isn't a bad thing to do. It's just that you don't need to modernize an already modern martial art system. We're only about three, right. 400 years old as a martial arts system. Up the MMA iced or yeah. Work, yeah. Sportified. Sportified. That's yeah. a good, All right, let's see what else they got for us. And then we'll all come together as one and we'll go home. One big, one big happy family. And then we can go and have a nice beer. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I haven't seen them for a while, but it's just getting a little oh, bit out of hand. Oh, man. Cheap. Okay, that it's was like so March 12th, 2019. I guess nobody yeah. got the memo that alcohol 
is uh, kills is third leading preventable cause of death in the world. We do martial arts and self defense. It's one of the last things we want to do is be in the in the company of drunk people and then also getting drunk ourselves. That's right. just absurd. Yeah. Now, listen, if you'll enjoy a drink here and there, uh, I have, you know, fine. Right. But to represent alcohol in any sort of martial art discipline uh, other than sport and entertainment right. is, yeah, is just irresponsible. Yeah. So, um, but again, if that's what floats your boat, right? You just might be into superficial sort of theor technique theorizing, mm -hmm. you know, macho technique theorizing. Yeah, no, macho sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. Wow. That's disappointing that he went the beer route, mm -hmm. the alcohol route. Yeah, I guess since we all. Oh boy! All right, let's see what else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's good. So actually, I, I, I'm always from England. Come over here, really enjoy the great man himself. The, he, he's he's uh, you. You need to see a lot of video. I talk about that already about him. He's not teaching real mass to up for the streets and helping people. He's doing a UFC. He got a lot of world champions, UFC people. So he know what he's talking about. The uh, pit Hawaiian Kempo. Um, now, uh, I can't speak too harshly. And of course, again, I, I, I've still spoken much more harsh about my own videos. Right. Right. <laughs> I've taken, I've taken whole, whole years worth of, you know, just lot, I've taken more videos down than I've, uh, yeah, mm. than I have up. That's mm. for sure. Um, because we're always trying to evolve. We're always trying to get better and yeah. whatnot, right? Um, so, you know, these guys are at a certain particular point. I'm not going to say higher or lower or whatever, um, but they are part of the family in a way because Hawaiian Kempo, that's Ed Parker. We were talking about Ed Parker, that's Hawaiian right. Kempo and all that. And so Bruce our Lee. Wing Chun and Rick Alamany, we train at Rick Alamany's dojo in San Francisco. That's like Chris Chan's dojo as well as Quan. Mm -hmm. Rick, uh, Chris Chan's Quan is Rick Alamany's dojo, which is Ed Parker's uh, partner. Oh, yeah. Wow. The connection. So, yeah. So there's a connection, and 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 these are are family folk, and uh, you know. I'd like to see what the brown belt does on, you know, in grappling, you know, <laughs> and we're all actually familiar with the, uh, the, the guy, the pit guy. Um, although I forget his name, Is his name down there. See, he doesn't even put his name down there. Come on, buddy. And they put in here. He did not. Can you believe it? He did not put his, those guys name. Ah, see, Man, I yeah, would be I so. Should, I should know who he is. I would no, know, but I would be so him. offended if somebody used me for their benefit to sell their stuff and didn't even didn't even mention them in the description. Yeah, go sign it. That guy. Wow, yeah, he was it. Chuck Liddell's head coach. Yeah, right. not cool. Not cool. All right, well. Sure, he'll probably say his name, but you can't understand what he says. You yeah. can't understand Masawang. <laughs> and we just meet him today, okay? He's there teaching, so we come in into the market, have a talk a little bit about him, and it's perfect. And that's what we're here for. And martial arts really about the community, like the family. It's nobody better than nobody. Yeah, it's nobody better. We, the, we the, 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 the professional people, don't want to create trouble. The people. No, man. Nobody's better than anybody. Really? Mm. Did they already drink them beers? It could be. Holy moly. And these guys are going, going along with it. 
Oh man. You know, he's it changed a lot over the years. And I told you I watched him there 2012, 2013. Master it's, Wong. Yeah, Master yeah. Wong. It's a little different now. It's it's a yeah, it's it's so hyped. Well, Wong, that's his thing, man. He's uh, he's the master the of hype. Yeah, he is quite the showman. Um, but uh, yeah, gosh, I'm biting my tongue a, a bit here. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So let's see what else they got. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. You know? So that's, that's what it is. So the microphone here, here and the master, step rolling. And out. Are you kidding me? Is the is the rest of this video a, a commercial? Oh, okay. He's got. They're doing a seminar. You want to put his hand to so I think what he's got going on here is here. he he's so got the seminar. Here, thing going on. Up, he's doing an arm drag. And then I move him out of the way. I can let arm drag. No, you go to his back, dude. Yeah, you need to move in a minute, and I won't want him to have no more kiss. You understand? So when you move the movement, you've got to get inside control. I would just go right to the back, though, and bother doing a takedown there because you can get in trouble. Right, and keep it stuck there. Like right, right, right there. Just keep going to the back. Yeah. Just right here, he can yeah. grab him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. then you can be able to move later. Yeah? yeah, but you have to have this. Okay. So very slow. You do the what we just done. So that way, it become easier when monster can hook you about different things easier. So hand here, you move, you monitor it. Hand following. So when you hand move, follow. This hand you come in here. <clears throat> this hand coming in here, but really you are coming here, <laughs> but you can't do that at the moment. See, if, if he doesn't go to his back, so then <laughs> the guy in red is gonna go to his back. Yeah. But he's not finding now because he's just showing technique. Yeah. And that takedown, that's a that's a solid judo um, takedown. I'm not quite sure what the judo folks are. Let's see, see, now the bujeep leg work needs to happen here, right? Yeah. Now, if he does this, he could easily just candlestick up and put him into a triangle or even into his guard. You know, so you got to understand if you're going to commit to the ground, do the ground stuff. Man, there's a lot of ground players, wrestlers from high school, MMA freaks that love jujitsu, man. They are going to take full advantage of this. Like right here, he can take that. Now, now he can go to his back. You move, yeah, and that will be in position. So now my criticisms are very mild on this because technique. I don't really like to get too crazy about criticizing a technique because there's always a counter to a technique. Right. So I'm not really concept as a whole. Yeah. But again, when we see something like that, where's the Wing Chun? I mean, if you're a Wing Chun guy, and hey, man, this guy's showing up on the first page of our results, right? On our search Wing results, Chun. yeah, yeah. And what we just saw is very far from Wing Chun. Yeah, it's up. Uh, it's something else. Yeah, uh, you know, maybe, and of course. Whatever works is Wing Chun. So at some point you'll see a Fuxiao. At some right. point you'll see Bu Jeet, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, yeah, but that that as far as a, a a Wing Chun concept, that that really didn't. No, it seems like he's um, branched out or. or developed his own style uh, he's always the success he's, had, he's always uh, done like yeah. street fighting yeah. wing chun and uh uh jeet kune do yeah. stuff like that um again these guys are more eminent almost you know jeet kune do and bruce lee and a lot of that is sort of the early mma right and i'm not saying that like you know 
to boost Wing Chun because I don't think Wing Chun really is appropriate for MMA. Um, I don't even think Chi Sao is appropriate to be approached as a as a sport, you know, mm. which a lot of camps do, including my own, mm. right. my own alma mater, right? So again, the concept is a little Chinese woman, yes, defending effectively defending herself against a bigger, larger, stronger, skilled opponent that is where you start so you don't you don't use your manly strength right you don't use those techniques there are the reason why wing chun has the techniques that it does is so it can be effective when that sort of stuff happens in this particular case when i talk about getting his back like right here mm -hmm. Right. Well, there's Comsal. Comsal push the head down. Right. Now we got our darces, our triangles that you could do on him, right. on Wong. Right. Get him out to the yeah. back and get out of there. Now here's yeah. another. Here's another thing. If you have that arm, if you, if Master Wong here, <laughs> I don't want to call him Master Wong. If Wong took his left leg and be, you know, the uh, sweep. yeah, just did a Buji forward step and then another forward step with this to keep driving, yeah, right, that along. Um, he would have a takedown and an arm bar all in one fell swoop mm. because as he was taken down, then he could just pivot his hips and 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 he's already got the control of the arm, right. Um, however, I, I would not even do that because the, the, I don't think the arm control is significant enough. I think for this sort of thing in Wing Chun, if we found, let's just say we found ourselves in this kind of situation where we're able to get control of the wrist and elbow like that. Mm -hmm. And by the way, it's called wrist and elbow control. If you can get wrist and elbow control, I would not try to do whatever all the other things that most people would do when they have wrist and elbow control. Um, I would immediately go to his back. Okay. We already talked about that, but we would also switch the legs. See, you, you would want to switch your legs if you did this, right? Because it, right, if you pivoted this way, all you would have to do to get behind him is pivot. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And if he pivoted and just kept traveling that wrist across his body, the uh, uh, and did a, a transfer. If he did a hand transfer, so it, if he pivoted mm -hmm. and then transferred the right hand wrist to his left hand he could take his right hand and grab his right. waist that's how it come around yeah. and then that is how you secure somebody's back in that position you uh, as a small woman i do not want to be anywhere in this position and i don't want to try to do anything in that position as a small woman, I want to get to his back and get to where he's not able to control me right. and then initiate whatever I'm going to do. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, technique is technique. That's what he's showing. You know, uh, I'm not saying that he doesn't understand this, sure. but he's certainly not showing it. And I say when you're, sh for me, if I'm going to show Wing Chun, I have to show the Wing Chun where it's a small Chinese woman. Yes. Maybe it's because I'm a little guy. Yeah, but either way. But I'm a guy. I can build up strength and all that. And I've actually had people say, well, you're strong, so that's how you can do it. You know? Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you get that. And, I'm, and they're mistaken. I'm not really all that strong, but by using Wing Chun techniques, I feel like, you, you know, feel, a Superman. Yes. Yeah. 
and a knickknack, Patty White. Give a dog a bone. I mean, anything. How about an old Swedish nursery rhyme? <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, well let's. I think we you only picked a good video here. To demonstrate. Yeah, we didn't yeah, have yeah. to go far. No. Master Wong never lets us down. Um, you know, listen. If you like this sort of high action kind of macho yeah. uh, kind of approach. That that apologizes almost apologizes and tries to pretend that he's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. it's so total machismo. It's a it's a very machismo um, and and maybe MMA approach. Right. Yeah, mixed it's martial MMA arts approach. approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems that it changed a lot from his, his earlier videos that I've seen. I'd even say Master Wong does a mixed up martial art approach where there's different martial arts because MMA really is like Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu. Right. <laughs> you know, I yeah. mean, there's other, thi other things in MMA, but predominantly you're seeing the Good techniques boxing. you see Good are kicks. Yeah, and that's because that's what's legal. Yeah. The, the legalities, um, the, the rules pretty much have dictated what works, what's being used. Yeah. Right. So you're seeing Muay Thai and uh, and Jiu Jitsu. Mm -hmm. um, Wing Chun, most Wing Chun techniques are completely illegal in MMA. Right. So again, to take a Wing Chun technique yeah. and then try to fit the the, right. <laughs> the Wing Chun and the attack, MMA attack into, from the back. Yeah. Get the back and then attack. You you're not allowed to attack to the back of the head. Right? Yeah, you can't hit the back of the head. You can't uh, hit the front of the knee. You can't do front knee stomps. Uh, yeah, um, and, uh, uh, downing. Uh, the downing the elbow. elbow. Yeah, the six. different different directions yeah. of the elbow. Definitely bujied elbow you're not going to do, you know. Um, so, yeah, you know, I mean, a lot of the techniques, uh, including eye gouges, which, again, you got to watch about watch out for escalation of violence. Mm. But again, it's not in Wing Chun. We are not attacking. We're just positioning. So right. if they decide to ram their face, their eyeballs into our fingers, that's different than initiating eye gouges. Much different. So. Mm. So, yeah, I think what Wong, uh, uh, the issue with Wong that I would have is that he's departing from, he, he's not admitting, or maybe he doesn't realize to what extent he's departing from self-defense techniques. And then he's trying to, play ball with with these high level sport martial artists yeah and then um then the cop out of well yeah this is self-defense technique you know biting scratching clawing you know it's like whenever you can't match somebody or comprehend another martial arts technique <laughs> yeah, you, you, you right. yeah you cop out to well i'll just gouge your eyes out and bite you or, you know yeah. I'll, I'll i'll kill you by touching you here here, here you know yeah. so yeah that's a, a that's a cop out you know um so yeah i i again i don't think that um that he has as much to offer as uh they may be paying now listen i've gone to gracie seminars that i did not i felt like i, I was written, ripped off you know right, yeah. i mean they were just so totally not you know like come on you know? right, yeah <laughs> i remember one one gracie seminar where they were showing mostly like wing chun 101 techniques and and saying in the street fight don't get on the ground right. <laughs> like well then why are you training in jiu-jitsu <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you should yeah. be doing jiu-jitsu like you know on a weekend or something and train and stand up to, you know of some nature right like wing chun perhaps right yeah. so um all right let, i'm gonna go a little over time let me let's just finish this yeah. we only got a few minutes i'm controlled 
That's all good, man. You know, you move, cool. yeah? And that would be yeah. in position. But boy, he's got to watch out there. Cause... Oh, look at that. Yeah, that seated position. Yeah, that now he's just going to have he's everybody show it. Yeah. From his back yeah. And, and the, you know what? These guys are, this is like a kid's class. Mm with the orange and the yellow belts and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, a lot, what happens is that a lot of times these schools, they, um, you know, they have seminars, they got visitor visiting martial artists coming through and sharing. And it's just, and it's a good thing. I don't have, I don't have anything against it. Um, what I do have against is if you can, if you feel like you can't criticize or you can't sort of, you know, um, dissect yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, what, what's being, what, what's yeah. being shown. I mean, yeah. I've done that to my own. I've had my senior instructors come out and do seminars and I've criticized them. Mm. I try to do it tactfully and to the side, but you know, right. if I That's don't so agree nice. with it, yeah. with a technique and I have very specific reasons why, um, I think those things should be addressed. Oh, absolutely. You know, and, and just again, you know, Wing Chun allows us an intellectual way of, of talking about these things and demonstrating these things without turning it into a war. Yeah. Because what we're not saying is I, we're better. No. What we are saying is, as far as technique goes, um, you know, we should be smart enough to consider the technique and its efficacy. Right. And, uh, you know, maybe it's unfair because as self-defense guys, as Wing Chun Gung Fu guys, our focus is so um, razor sharp, precision, in other words, we have something to pin it, pin whatever we look at, and we have to say, okay, I, that looks cool. I could do that. I'm strong enough to do that. No, you are going to say, okay, I'm a little Chinese girl. Yes. Always come back to that. Yes. Always. That is yeah. the like first principle. Right. When, yeah. That's what we mean by first principle. That. It, it has to follow first principle. Mm. So, um, you know, that's not to say that you can't utilize your more manly techniques or, or, or macho techniques. Right. But what works for you. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and that's cool. Yeah. But just when we're talking about Wing Chun, words mean stuff. Mm. And Wing Chun means something. Yeah. And, and, in fact, Wing Chun is very precise and not ambiguous. Seal and towel, small idea, detail. Mm -hmm. Seal and towel is all about detail. Yeah. And seal and towel, Wing Chun is all about seal and towel. And seal and towel is all about Wing Chun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, um, again, you know, uh, this doesn't define what we're saying, doesn't guarantee that I'm a great fighter and master wong or whoever isn't no of course not this is no about if it's win chun if it's yeah in fact i gotta say i've been on the phone with guys for hours that talked an amazing martial art and then when i met them they had nothing really wow. yeah i was i was nervous i was nervous almost yeah. every time i was like oh my god this guy's showing me. i would talk for him to, to him for with an hour and he you know he was right on you know, he understood everything, right? right? And then he shows up, he's got nothing. Yeah, it's just so right? bad in people that yeah. know and understand everything on paper. Yeah. And not do and it. opposite, I know a guy that doesn't know anything. Like, you know, as far as Kung Fu, Wing Chun, anything like that. But, oh, my God, he's a monster. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so we all have mouths. We can all have words come out of them yes. um hopefully we can um be thoughtful and um and progressive and and respectful yeah as uh, as wing chun practitioners as fellow martial artists yeah 
and um and all grow together and um that's what it's all about it should be yeah okay guys well geez that flew by yeah, you picked a good one it was that good one. flew by <laughs> so yeah. um if you want to get more information you can of course go to see oh pardon me oh geez you can go to seafoozy.com and if you'd like to start training with us you can start for as little as a dollar a month you can even train for free actually mm -hmm. just go on over to patreon.com slash if you like what we're doing here and you'd like to make a one-time contribution you can do that by going over to paypal.me slash of course all of this is in the links down below and down below also is a series that I just did uh, called Intro to Wing Chun. It's free of charge. You can uh, go check that out. Again, that's down in the description. Thanks for joining us here at Wing Chun Talk. Thank you, Johan, Thank you. for joining uh, uh, us and for helping me do this once again uh, 14 times so far. Yeah, no, my pleasure. And, uh, We'll see you tomorrow. We got to get ready for training. Yep. All right. See ya.